Evie, talk to me about gold. Where is that headed? And should, should we just go to cash and gold? <laughs> um, no, obviously, we've had a, a very, very good run in the price of gold recently. And I think that's, uh, that started really in Q4 of last year with the, the, the kind of turnaround in rate expectations. Uh, and I think, obviously, with that, that kind of momentum with regards to rates has continued and kind of in the last month or so has really started to accelerate. So it does feel as though the, <clears throat> the alternative of gold, where, we, where we, you start to see the, the, the real rates come as a big factor, um, gold prices should remain well supported. And we're seeing a lot of demand for gold at the moment. Okay, it's a physical. What, what does it mean for the actual sector? So are we going to see more M&A between companies? Yeah, so we've had, uh, obviously, a, a series of M&A transactions, um, very big ones that took place last year, um, and one that concluded at the beginning of this year, and there's some ongoing ones that are happening in the <clears> UK market at the moment. Um, so I think consolidation is, is going to be a, a theme. Um, the, the challenge for most gold mining companies is the very short lives of their assets. So as the assets are depleted, the kind of rush to replace ounces in the ground accelerates. Uh, and I think uh, with the kind of junior space um, trading at a discount, um, the bigger companies enjoying the higher prices, you could start to see some more consolidation taking place. Um, where where do you see the, the you know where do you see the reversal if you see anything in like when it comes to either industry consolidation or actually the price of gold fading I mean this this can't only be central banks right? yeah. well central banks are a huge factor and always have been central banks um, from a physical point of view in terms of buying gold we've seen now I can't remember it's like seven or eight years of consecutive buying after three decades of selling by central banks uh, predominantly the kind of the emerging central banks um, being the drivers there uh, we're also seeing physical demand from individuals because people are looking for a safe place to put their capital and gold has been that place for thousands of years um, with, and with getting you know very little return on your cash and the prospect of rates going lower then obviously the competitiveness of gold is uh, becomes much much um, better